Welcome to Grady New Hope Anointed Ministries, where our senior pastor is Calvin Callens Sr. And today's message title is, How Long? Let's tune in. Church is already in progress. Just want to talk from a topic for a couple of moments. How long? Six of Psalms just preached his own message. How long? David, when you study this, he, he tells you that sometimes uh, people end up in the mess they're in because of sin. And there's consequences from sin. The pleasure you feel for that moment can turn into 18 years or more of misery. Sin sometimes bring pain, sorrow. But sometimes you end up in a predicament because maybe God wants to get glory of out what you're going through for that moment. But in the midst of, if it's sin, if it's him trying to get the glory, if uh, uh, sometimes you just have to say, God, when are you going to let up? How long am I going to go through this? David, he said, God, I'm black and blue. I'm beat up. I don't know about y'all, but have you ever been in a situation where you have to say, I'm beat up? I can't take I can't take no more. I can't I can't take another problem. I can't and you you actually tell people you go home. And you tell look at him. I don't want to hear it right now. Not today. I can't take no more. I done had enough. But some of us only have those problems twice a year. But some of us go through, seem like when we come out of something, <laughs> you drive right back into something. And you say, God, how long? How am I going to go through this? Did I cause all of this? Did I, did I call the beach mistreated like this, God? Did I, did I, what, what did I do? Then sometimes, if you really examine sometimes, because you remember I said sometimes sin, sometimes we put ourselves in, sometimes God is trying to teach us, but sometimes when you examine some stuff, maybe people treat you because that's the way you treat somebody else. And some of the stuff we got going on in our life, we just reaping. Oh, y'all didn't want to hear that right there. You, you remember you ran, almost ran your mama down crazy and your daddy down crazy? You were sneaking out the window and you was doing that. You were acting like you was crazy at the school. The teacher's calling. And now you get the same phone calls. And mama now told you, just keep on living. But still, you in the midst of it saying, God, how long? I'm beat up. Have you ever had, uh, have, you, have you ever been in a fight or a situation where all the life and breath got knocked out of you? I'm talking about you can't, you can't breathe. You ever been in a situation you can literally feel it choking you? To death, that situation is, and you, you, you trying to, trying to get breath in the breathe, but more you pray, the tighter the grip get. 
I ain't got nobody in here. Anybody ever prayed and the more you prayed, it seemed like the worse it got? That's what he's saying. See, he prayed the first night. He prayed the 10th night. He, he said, God, 40 days and 40 nights. God, I've been crying. My pillow, my mattress is soaked in tears. I, I go to bed crying. When I'm asleep, you sleep and tears still falling. You wake up crying. He said, God, I, I don't cry so my eyes are swollen. I, I don't cry so. God, I can't even hardly see out of my eye. If you've never been there, I don't pray that you get there. But there's some stuff you'll cry until your eyes swell. You, you, you cry and say, God, when you gonna deliver my child? When? When? When you gonna do it, God? When you gonna? When you gonna take the cancer? When? When you gonna fix my marriage? When, God? I went in this with all my heart, all my life, and God, now I'm lonely. When you gonna? When you gonna? When you gonna comfort me? Do I have any saved folk ever felt like you had no comfort? Your spouse was laying right by you. Your children was in the house. Everything, but you still felt a loneliness because there was something missing. He said, God, how long? God, my bones, they can't take another lick. I'm broken to pieces. I can't, can't do no more. Then the bad thing about it, when folks see you that way, now your enemy is glowing and they saying, look what they're going through. They happy because of your misery. <laughs> Have you ever been happy about somebody going through something? Don't answer that. <laughs> Folk get happy when they see you down. Folk get happy when they see you lose stuff. Folks get happy when they see you uh, are not together. Folk get happy, and it be church folk. Look at somebody say, and it be church folk. How, you, how can you get the happy when you see a loved one split up? How can you get happy when you see your sister, a brother begin to lose things? How can you be happy when you see your sister and brother crying? No, you shouldn't be happy. You should feel the pain every now and then of your sister and brother going through. Some of y'all forget what the church is. The church is not a place where you come gossip and come trying to find out folks' business. The church is a hospital with a lot of sick food. <laughs> I look at your name and say, all of us need a little more healing. Say, all of us need a little more Jesus. Yeah, yeah, all of us need a prescription a, a little more love, a little more peace, a, a little more joy. All of us need something from God. But he keeps on praying. I don't care what you're going through, even 
when you can't hardly breathe, when you, the fight seemed not to be fair. You got to keep on praying. When it seems like you're losing it. At the worst moments of it. You got to keep on praying. Even while crying. Because he was still crying, but he kept on praying. Anybody ever prayed and wiped snot and, and, and everything at the same time? But you kept on praying. If you ain't never been in a snotty prayer, you got to, you, 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 you ain't there yet. Has anybody ever been in a snotty nose prayer? When you forget about when you forget about you and you say, God, no, you got to do this, God. I, 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 I need you to work it out. I, I, I need you to bring me out. And I, I, oh, God, ain't nothing like a snotty nose prayer. Because that's when God said, okay, now. Okay. You done humbled yourself. Now you see. I got your attention. <laughs> you ain't getting out here with the pretty prayer, the Baptist prayer. God, this morning, we have gathered ourselves together again in the most harmless way we know. Y'all ain't hear me. Then at the end of the prayer, the Baptist, you can say, God, when my tongue cleaves to my to the root of my mouth. And I can't pray no more. God said, no, I ain't trying to hit you. That's pretty. But when you get down and say, Lord, I can't, I can't take it no more. God, I need you to hear me. My bones have been crushed up. I can't stop crying. God, I need. God say, I'm ready to listen now. Because you ain't down here asking for stuff either. You ain't, you ain't asking me for no car. You ain't asking me for no house. You ain't, no, you telling me now how much you love me. Because David said, God, I don't, I don't must feel your love. How can you feel what you don't give? How can you feel what you don't give? Man, you, men, husbands, you can't just keep walking in the house. Say, hey, baby. And think she just going to jump off the ceiling fan? You got, you got, to, show, you got to show some love. You, you, you want love, but you got to give love. Women, you... you, you 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 want you 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 want stuff. You got you y'all 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 got it. Y'all don't even know what you're working with. Y'all in heaven, man. Samson said all he wanted was some rest. Samson said Samson said all oh, he he wanted was some rest, and he laid his lap head in. Oh y'all in heaven, man. You don't even know. You're working with. Because if you show it, that man will go get about five jobs. 16 hours. They don't even ask for the money. They just, they, they just give you the check. Y'all ain't hitting me here. He says, he says, he said, God. I can't take it no more. Then I like what my comer, uh, 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 what, what the hearing, a commentary says, it says, uh, when he kept on praying, it says, but prayer changes things. I don't care what you're going through before, but prayer changes things. He kept praying, then round, 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 round. At the end, uh, he realized that God had heard his prayer. Now his faith strengthens him. 
You got to have faith when you don't know how you're going to make it. You, you, got to, you got to have faith when you can't see your way out, but you, you got to know you coming out. You got to have faith before you go to the doctor to, for them to read the report that you're already healed. Your faith has got to strengthen you. See, it ain't, you know, it's good to get compliments and it's good for people to tell you certain things you want to hear. All that's good. But you got to have faith. You, you got to have faith to strengthen you. Say, but his faith strengthen him. Then when he got his strength, he said, enemies, y'all know what? You might as well get on out of here. I don't care what you say because in the midst of your storm, in the midst of your problems, people will come and try to get you to curse God and die. Ask Job. <laughs> Job, I thought you had it going on. Job, I thought God loved you. I thought you, you was the one. God, I, 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 Job, I thought you were all this. You see, in, 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 in your pain, they'll come and try to get you to see you where you are. But I'm better than this, and I'm coming out of this. So how long, how long, how long, how long? I don't know how long your days have been. I don't know if you're in your 39th night. I don't know if you're in your 35th night. I don't know if you're on your 40th night. All I'm telling you, you better not stop praying. You better not give up. You better not throw in the towel. You better not, somebody shout, I would not throw in the towel. I would not give up. I'm going to keep on going on. I'm going to keep, you, you got you to open up your mouth sometime and shout hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to open up your mouth sometimes and shout, Lord, I thank you. You got to, yeah, yeah, in the worst time, when you start giving God praise, that's what makes the enemy confused. Because the enemy said, how can you praise God in a time like this? And you're going through that situation. And you're going through that problem. And why you going, every punch he throw, you still say, God, I thank you. Every time he hits you, you say, God, I still love you. Every time he says, God, I give you praise. And I thank you. Word to be praised. Everybody standing. Everybody standing. Join the neighbor hand. Talk to him. So I don't know how long you've been going through. If you've been going through at all. But, but what I come to tell you, just like you holding on to my hand, you got to hold on to God. So no, no matter how the wind blow, say no matter how the storm rock you, rock that hand, never fit it. Say you can't let it go. You can't let it go. You can't. You got to hold on. God, we thank you. We praise you right now. Every hand that is held. God, some has been beaten. They feel broken. God, their eyes are swollen. God, they can barely see because so much is going on. But God, I hear in the spirit some saying, I can't take no more. I can't take another lick. I can't, I can't take another day. I can't take another month of this. God, I'm asking you to hear their prayer. Speak to that situation. <laughs> Move by your power. Do it right now. 
You know us by name. You know us by every hair that is on our heads. You know us. You say you won't put more on us than we can bear, but God, we're on our knees because it's heavy. We ready to walk again. Will you please lift it? Because like, like David said, God, I can't praise you if I'm dead. God, I can't praise you like I want to praise you if I have a stroke. I can't praise you like I need to praise you if I have a heart attack and I'm Bad stricken. I can't praise you. So God, I, I need you to heal me because God, I'm one of your best praises. Oh. I'm, I'm one of your best praises. So fix my situation so I can praise you like I want to praise you. I need Praise you. I give you praise in advance because I feel I feel it's coming out. And I know it's gonna get better. I know it's gonna get better. And it's already better. Right now, in Jesus' name. Be, 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 before you let that hand go, I need you to look at your neighbor's hand. Say, oh neighbor. I know you think you his best praiser. But I just need to tell you, I'm his best praiser. This concludes today's message. Thank you for joining us today. If you're ever in the Plant City area on a Sunday, please stop on by. We would love to fellowship with you. Also, please consider being a vision partner. Your contribution helps us reach beyond the parameters of our four walls to deliver the gospel of Christ, which is God's word to the world. Thank you and have a blessed week.